But you know, there, there are fantastic hotel deals, as we've talked about yeah. in Times Square. And you mentioned off the air uh, one of the, my favorite hotels, the Algonquin Hotel. Mm -hmm. And it's been spruced up. And, uh, you know, they oh, have they a beautiful a wonderful job uh, of spruising it. Uh, uh, lounge, and there are about five or six, maybe even a dozen hotel um, restaurants in Times Square that have a, a natural affinity with uh, Broadway. You have Sardi's, yeah. which is on West 40, uh, 44th Street, right. which has actually not just the actor's menu if, if for actors, but it has a supper menu, a light supper menu, where you can actually um, get an appetizer, say uh, one of their specialties is spinach cantaloni, for about twelve dollars. What, what now? Spinach cannelloni. Spinach cannelloni, right? And um, but you know they've lowered their prices mm. because there's so many competitors now in Times yeah. Square. What's that? Gabinos? What is that one that you get to where you go? The Gabinos? Gabinos? No, no. It's what is it? The one that gives you the family dish. It's on. F not next. It's not next to Sardi's, but down that block somewhere. Right. Right. It's well, there's. Uh, well, um, Cabinos? Uh, Cabinos, okay. there's John's Pizzeria, which no, is no, no, uh, no. down Sardis. No, no, this is where you Look go it. in there, and they, it's like we, when we, we and Nico went down the village. Okay. No, no, it's, it's like Cabinos, something like that. Right. And you go in there, and whatever you order, it's family style, kid. You get what they give you, and that's it. Okay. Well, they're, you know, they're more than, uh, I would say they're close to 300 restaurants in Times Square now, so that the, Amazing. the, the traditional theatrical restaurants, whether it's Sardi's or Gallagher's, they well, have- Gallagher's is always. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, just all the sports guys go there. Sports, but also theater, you know, old time theater, yeah. uh, many uh, we theatrical go some, the, We should go to Gallagher's sometime. Definitely. Be fun, be fun. Yeah, I'm up, you, uh, I'm up for it tonight. Are you buying? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <I> thought, <laughs> yeah, yeah, who's got the credit card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, actually you can, you, you know, one thing you have to get over, either if you're a New Yorker or a tourist, you can share a meal and, and save money, yeah. even at Gallagher's. But I, but I, I, I warn our, our viewers that, you know, you might get a look from the waiters who don't want you to share a meal. And Gallagher's is actually one restaurant uh, that you don't have to pay a sharing price. So beware oh, of that. Oh, they do come up with that. Yeah, you, don't ha you, you do not have to pay a sharing price with Gallagher's. But some other restaurants, you, you better beware. Really? I, I guess because the portions are so big. How much is a sharing price? Well, it could be three dollars, five dollars, you know, that oh, kind of something thing. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So if you order like uh, chicken tetrazzini, uh, for, for well, wait a minute. If I ordered dessert and you ordered the steak, I can't make a deal with you. Well, yes, we can. In Gallagher's, we we'll split the steak. Yeah. Um, we'll split the dessert or get two desserts. Yeah. And that's. Believe me, that's more than enough for for yeah. for two uh, people. Well, the portions Gallagher's are pretty big. Too. Oh, they're huge, yeah. and, and yeah. I would get the London broil, but there's no sharing fee at Gallagher's, so that's a good thing to know. But which some other restaurants? Which restaurants have sharing fees? Well, I'm not going to tell you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, we yeah. got a dash anyways. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Wardmore House. You heard it all, folks. Right. Only in New York. Right. Thank you.